Today, uh, we're looking at how to exercise faith. How do we ourselves uh, exercise faith? Faith is based on a relationship. Our faith is in the person of Jesus. It's, it's, our faith is not in methods. You know, we, uh, every religion has, has certain rules, or certain methods. You do this and you get that. But no, our faith is in a person. Have a desired goal based on God's word. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh, the evidence of things not seen. To have faith, while you do that, there is something that you're hoping for. There is a desire that you hope for. Uh, we start with that. Uh, we start with that desired goal. The second one is be determined to have what God has promised. Make a real quality decision that we will have what we have desired for. You can't uh, obtain things in unbelief. So God calls us. He invites us to have faith. And most of the time, it's uh, when situations are contrary. You know, that's when you exercise faith. Then Jesus answered and said to her, uh, this is Matthew 15, 28, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. The faith that uh, that, that woman from Canaan had really impress Jesus. How about our faith? Does our faith impress Jesus? Oh Lord, let my faith impress you. To fill our hearts with the word. Romans 10 verse 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So one of the practices we need to do is to fill our hearts with the promises of God. Pray and receive by faith. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Speak your faith. So we need to have a goal. We need to have a desire. Um, you know, we, uh, we, be, we are determined to, to uh, achieve that desire, achieve that goal. Uh, we fill ourselves with faith from the word of God, we pray, and then we speak. One of the ways we, we release our faith is through a believing prayer. Uh, so Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Act in accordance uh, to your faith. Acting out our faith gets the attention of God. Uh, you know, when you, when you speak, think, and act, uh, God notices faith. God responds to faith. Do you see that faith was working together with his works? And by works, faith was made perfect. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. James is, is telling us to, to mix our faith with actions. We thank and praise God. Uh, Romans 4.20, it says, He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Some of the most powerful uh, breakthroughs that I've got in my life was when I, I thanked and praised God even when I did not have my answer. Stay in faith with endurance. So having done everything that we, uh, we need to stand, we continue to stand with enduring faith. The devil is, is out to, uh, uh, to, to make you weary. Uh, we got to out-weary the devil, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith uh, and patience inherit the promises. So we imitate those who just, uh, uh, who had situations to conquer. We imitate them because they had faith and patience. And that's how they inherited the promises. Hebrews 10 verse 35 and 36. Therefore do not cast away your confidence 
which has great reward for you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of God you may receive the promise once we do the will of God in faith with endurance we will possess the promise Thank you.